Okay, so I think it would be um, Elvis Presley, Bruce Lee, and Harry Houdini. I know that seems like a weird group of people, but to me growing up, um, those three people at different points in my life have been heroes of mine, people that I've looked up to. Now, not for every aspect of their life, of course, but I mean, when you think about it, uh, just even what those three people have in common, they all started off very meager. They all started off from very humble beginnings and all three of them had an idea or a dream to be the very best in their field. You know, think about Elvis, he's the king of rock and roll. Bruce Lee, you can't even go two seconds into a, any discussion about martial arts or kung fu movies without bringing up Bruce Lee's name. And Harry Houdini revolutionized magic, revolutionized the entertainment industry and how people turn themselves into brands, you know? And so it, those three people, for me, have been heroes. And so then as a Christian, we also have this idea that Jesus should be a hero, that Jesus should be somebody that we look up to, somebody that we should strive to be. But the problem sometimes with Jesus is we acknowledge, yeah, but he's also God. I mean, he's not just a man, he's also God. He's fully God, 100% God. And so sometimes that puts uh, reaching up to Jesus as a hero or as someone to be like a little bit out of distance or a little bit out of reach. So what do you do? How do you make Jesus more human? Well, see, that's the good news. You don't have to make Jesus more human because Jesus was 100% human. He was fully human. And I know we don't always talk about Jesus' humanity. We spend a lot of time talking about his godhood, his miracles, his teaching, and we kind of make Jesus out to be this otherworldly, lofty, superhuman creation. But Jesus was also a man. He was also 100% human. In fact, uh, in 1 John, it says, In this the love of God was made manifest among us, that God sent His only Son into the world so that we might live through Him. See, God lives in Jesus. Jesus lives in us. And we live through Him. So Jesus, in His humanity, is obtainable. He is reachable. He can be our hero in every single way. And I think the Bible goes uh, through extensive detail to show us just how human Jesus was. At Walden Church right now, we're looking at a series called Jesus in 3D. It's the idea that sometimes we always see Jesus the same way, but maybe if you put on a different set of glasses, you can see Jesus in a new way. This Sunday, we're talking about Jesus' humanity, how we might better identify with him, and how he can live through us. I hope to see you there.